हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव कवर द सीड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स एंड सीड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन माई एम एस सी ए जी विथ स्पेशलाइजेशन इन एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीट प्रोफेशनल इन वन ऑफ द मल्टी now we will move to the presentation in this slides we have gone through the development in indian seed industry there were many initiatives from government for the development of indian seed industry and different programs started out of them five year plan which played great role for establishment first five year plan was for the period 1951 to 1956 great emphasis on development of seed programs were given Grow More Food Inquiry Committee was established in 1952. Second five-year plan was for the period 1956 to 1961. During this period, All India Coordinated Maize Improvement Program was started by ICR in collaboration with Rockefeller Foundation. A special importance was given to the multiplication of nucleus seeds into foundation seeds. Coordinated crop improvement schemes on maize, sorghum, and bajra crops were initiated. and there are formulation of agriculture production team in 1959 and program evolution organization third five year plan was for the period 1961 to 1966 during this period there was release of first maize hybrids in 1961 birth of central seed corporation in 1963 which is now known as national seeds corporation and high yielding varieties program hyvp started in 1966 on maize bajra sorghum paddy and wheat crops there were annual plans during years 1966 to 1969 fourth five year plan was initiated in 1969 and it was in operation till 1974 during this period there was establishment of tri developments corporation limited tdc in 1969 1969 at haldi in uttar pradesh which is very near to the jb pant university of agriculture and technology and origin of seed society of seed technology isst in 1971 fifth five year plan was started in 1974 and it was in operation till 1979 the national seeds program first phase was initiated during period 1975 to 76 Six five-year plan, which was under force for the period 1982-1985. Seventh five-year plan was from 1985 to 1990. After that, there were annual plans for the period 1992-1992. Eighth five-year plan was started in 1992, and it was continued till 1997. and the ninth five year plan was from 1997 to 2002 during this period the objective was of growth with social justice and equality importance to agriculture growth generation of productive employment and creation of regional balances and self reliance tenth five year plan was from 2002 to 2007 and the plan was prepared in the background of high expectations arising from the better growth rate achieved after the liberalization providing gainful and high quality employment at least to the addition to the labor force 11th five year plan was started in 2007 and it was continued till 2012 and the objective was for faster and more inclusive growth and aim at putting the economy on a sustainable growth trajectory with a growth rate of approximately 10% by the end of its period 12 five year plan was for the period 2012 to 2017 with aims to achieve annual average economic growth rate of 8.2% achieve faster sustainable and more inclusive growth now the 13 five year plan which was started in 2017 and it will be under force till 2022 so 13 five year plan is running currently this plan is having the aims to modernize commercial agriculture production to reduce overcapacity while aiming to turn 1 million hectares of 
marginal cropland into forest or grassland in an effort to reduce air pol pollution the plan also aims to increase for forest coverage to 23 percent over the next five years in this slides we have gone through the agriculture extension and development programs there are many programs projects organizations which were initiated for the development of indian seed industry and agriculture and proven productive some of them listed is below the rockefeller foundation royal commission on agriculture the itawa pilot project the community development project the national extension service agriculture production team first agriculture university was established in 1960 named gb pant university of agriculture and technology pantnagar uttar pradesh intensive agriculture district program national seeds corporation seed act high yielding varieties program sri development corporation limited indian society of seed technology and there were other schemes and programs which played very important role in the development of seed industry and agriculture in the beginning of the moves the schemes were like grow more food grow more food committee coordinated crop improvement schemes program evaluation organization organization seed multiplication team seed review team the national commission on agriculture indian council of agriculture research national seeds program seeds law enforcement central seed committee department of agriculture central seed testing laboratory agriculture extension education panchayati raj system agriculture universities intensive agriculture development programs in this slides we have gone through the international agriculture organizations which are working on global basis and having the different objectives these organizations are working uh, focusing a specific crops development and this food and agriculture development and this uh, de soil development programs and uh, having the functions in dryland areas so different organizations have different roles and they are focusing for the develop to achieve the objectives in their respective areas some of them listed are here international maize and wheat improvement center food and agriculture organization international potato center international center for tropical agriculture international crop research institute for the semi arid tropics Inter international center for agriculture research in the dry areas here we have mentioned the list names of organizations their headquarters the area the year of establishment and objectives in, in which area they are functioning other organizations are here international institute of tropical agriculture international rice research institute consultative group on international agriculture research the center for international forestry research international food policy research institute international livestock research institute international water management institute international center for living aquatic resource management international irrigation management institute international network for the improvement of banana and plantation crops international plant genetic resource institute international service for national agriculture research west africa rice development association etc so the all organizations are working globally and and supporting the various countries to achieve their objectives and these organizations are playing very very important role for the development for agriculture seeds this animal research institutes this aquatic and whatever this other area of their functioning in this slides we have gone through the national agriculture research organization in our country which are having the very well contribution for the development of agriculture in our agriculture industry these organizations are working on various objectives relates to crops this fibers this soil aquaculture animal animal research 
and we said maybe engineering and technology soil science and different different etc so we we have listed here some organizations like central arid zone research institute food technology research institute fisheries research institute central institute for cotton research central institute for research on goats crop research institute institute for agriculture engineering central institute of brackish water aquaculture fresh water aquaculture fisheries education central island agriculture research institute central institute for research on buffalo central institute for arid horticulture central institute for fisheries technology central institute of research on cotton technology central institute of subtropical horticulture temperate horticulture first harvest engineering and technology fisheries research institute central potato research institute institute for jute and allied fibers central research institute for dryland agriculture central sheep and wool research institute institute for research on cattle soil salinity research institute so all these research centers are having a specific objectives and we in this presentation we have shown their headquarters locations from where they are operating and their year of establishment the other institutes like soil salinity research institute central tobacco research institute central tuber crop research institute agriculture research institute agro agroforestry and institute for women in agriculture citrus research institute indian council of agriculture research and this indian agriculture research institute indian agriculture statistics research institute and other various research institutes are mentioned here these all institutes are operating their research work in the geography where these crops are pref preferably grown and we can achieve the research results orientation programs in those areas other research other research institutes are mentioned here like oil seed research oil palm research institute for water management national institute of rice research national institute of seed research indian institute of maize research national academy of agriculture research management norm hyderabad national botanical research institute agriculture economics and policy research national institute of agriculture extension management national institute of agriculture marketing national bureau of plant genetic resources national dairy research institute etc and other institutes which are functioning in their respective areas we have shown other agriculture research centers which are working on different crops and focusing different objectives some of them are here center for bananas national research center for grapes national research center for lychee national research center for pomegranate national research center on camels research center on equines national research center on meat national research center on mithun national research center on orchids national research center on peak and center on seed spices national research center on yak sugarcane breeding research institute national center for integrated pest management mahatma gandhi integrated farming research institute etc and there are some national agriculture bureaus which were working as a resources for the material supply <coughs> out of them some are listed here national bureau of animal genetic resources is having the headquarter at haryana national bureau of plant genetic research new delhi national bureau of agriculture important microorganism mau up national bureau of agriculture insect resources bangalore karnataka national bureau of soil survey and land use planning nagpur maharashtra national bureau of fish genetic resources lucknow uttar pradesh and there are different project directorates which are working on a specific crops and having the research oriented jobs out of them some are listed here as directorate of major research directorate of huge pit research water management groundnut research soybean research rape seed and mustard research mushroom research onion and garlic research directorate of cashew research 
Directorate of Medicinal and Aromatic Plant Research, Directorate of Floriculture Research, Directorate of Weed Research, Directorate of Food and Mouse Diseases, Directorate of Poultry Research, Directorate of Knowledge Management in Agriculture, Directorate of Cold Water Fisheries Research, Sorghum Research, Rice Research, Oil Seed Research, Sugar Cane Research, Millet Research. And these all directorates are functioning, having the headquarters in the respective areas where the crops are grown extensively. And these all organization, directorates, national, national research centers and bureaus are working, working efficiently and playing very, very important and critical role for the development of and agriculture development mean in our country. So now, now we have gone through the various aspects in the seed development programs and organizations working for the seed development and agriculture development in our, our country. Now I would like to thank you for making your kind attention and see you again. Thanks.